This demonstration we're going to look at creating and configuring DNS policies. DNS policies are new in Windows Server 2016 and they allow us to set up a DNS server to return query requests differently and to modify zone transfer behavior based on certain conditions or factors. What we're going to do at this point here is we're going to come into our DNS utility, we're going to create some records, we're also going to use Windows PowerShell to set up these policies. In order to actually create these policies, you must be using Windows PowerShell version 5.0, which comes with Windows Server 2016. So the first thing we're going to do here is just create a www alias. We're going to create that in a datum.com. So we'll come to a datum, we'll right click, we'll create a new alias. And what we're going to do for the alias is we're going to make this www, and we're actually going to point this back to the lon-dc1 machine. So we'll just come through. We'll create the record we wish to point this www at. So we're just looking for the lon dc1. And then we'll select OK. Select OK again. And we've now created the www record. So the first thing we'll do at this point here is we'll just test to ensure that we can actually resolve to this record. And we'll do that from one of the other machines. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just do an NS lookup. And then we'll do that for www.datum.com. As you can see back, it has actually came back. So the address is 172.16.0.10, and that's for www.adatum.com. We're not too bothered about this request timed out. We don't have a reverse lookup zone. So that's why we're getting this little error up at the top here. So we can see that we've definitely got name resolution. And what we'll also do as well is we'll just move over to one of our client machines. And what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same test to ensure our client machine can also resolve that record. So just on my client machine, do the NS lookup utility, and again we can see we are resolving this through. So now we can see the record is definitely resolving. What we'll do is we'll go back to our Active Directory domain controller, which is also our DNS server, and what we'll start doing is configuring some DNS policies. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll create a couple of client subnets, one for the UK and one for Canada. And the first two commands we've done here is we've done an add hyphen DNS server client subnet. And then what we've done is we've done a hyphen name, UK subnet, and we've specified this as an IP version 4 subnet. And we've specified that subnet as 172.16.0.0 slash 24. We've also added a DNS server client subnet, hyphen name, Canada subnet, IP version 4 subnet is 172.16.18.0 slash 24. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of zones. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a zone for adatum.com with the name of UK Zone Scope, and we're going to create one for adatum.com with the name of Canada Zone Scope. So we'll just clear the screen off, and we'll just issue those two commandlets. And the two commandlets we've issued here is add hyphen DNS server zone scope, zone name datum.com, and we've added a scope called UK Zone, and we've done exactly the same thing here, datum.com. But what we've done is we've also created one called Canada Zone Scope. Now we've created those two scopes. The next thing we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to create a couple of resource records for each zone. So we're going to create a www record and point them to a relevant IP address on the relevant subnet. So again, we'll just clear the screen off, and make it a little bit easier to read, and then we'll issue those two commandlets. So the first command that we've got here is add hyphen DNS server resource record, hyphen zone name, Datum.com, hyphen A for an address record. The name will be www. IP version 4 address will point to 172.16.0.41. And then the zone scope will be the UK zone scope. And then we'll do exactly the same thing for Canada. So exactly the same command again. Add hyphen DNS server resource record. Zone name will be a datum.com, will be a, a record, name will be www with an IP address of 172.16.18.17 and then we're going to add that to the Canada scope. So now we've done those two command lets, next thing to do at this point here is just add some DNS server query resolution policies. So UK policy will allow client subnet equal to UK subnet and we'll also have a calendar, uh, Canada policy which will allow client subnet equal to the Canada subnet.
So the first command that we've got at this point here is add hyphen DNS server query resolution policy, hyphen name UK policy, action will be allow, client subnet will be equal to UK subnet, hyphen zone scope will be UK zone scope, comma one, and then zone name datum.com. And again, we just need to do the same thing with Canada. So again, similar commandlet. So add hyphen DNS server query resolution policy, hyphen name Canada, po Canada policy, hyphen action will be allow, client subnet will be equal to Canada, subnet, and then the zone scope will be Canada zone scope, and the zone name will be adatum.com. So the next thing to do is to actually test this. So what we'll do is we'll move back to our client machine. What we'll do at this point here is we'll just issue our NS lookup command. And what we should see at this point here is we should see a resolution of 172.16.0.41. So what we've done here is even though we had the WW record, we've used a DNS policy to redirect to a different IP address. As we can see, 172.16.0.41. Now what we'll do is we'll just go to our Canada client machine and we'll do exactly the same test and what we should find is we should get back a resolution with an IP address of 172.16.18.17. So here we are, we'll just issue the nslookup commandlet. So we'll do nslookup www.adatum.com. As we can see at this point here, www.adatum.com is resolving through to 172. Dot sixteen, dot eighteen, dot seventeen. So what we've done here is we've used the DNS policy to do traffic management to allow our London clients to talk to the London IP address and allow the Canada clients to talk to the Canada IP address. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.